Hello students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting video, I would like to tell you something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed on. If you find somewhere difficulty, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Now here is the question. Two identical charged particles each having a mass in gram and charge 2 into 10 raise to power minus 7 coulomb area placed on a horizontal table with the separation of L between them such that they stay in limiting equilibrium. If the coefficient of friction between each particles and the table is 0 0.25, find the value of L. Here, use G equal to 10 into uh, meter per second square. And here we have given four options option A, 12 centimeter, option B, 10 centimeter, option C, 8 centimeter, option D, 5 centimeter. Now, in this question, we have given a two charged particles, let's say A and B, at distance between A and B, that is F. Given the charge Q is a P charge. Q equal to 2 into 10 raise to power minus 7 coulomb. Okay. Now, the friction is applied between table and charge. That is, uh, friction coefficient is given 0 0.25. When it is in equilibrium, it means frictional force and electrostatic force are equal. It means frictional force mu Fc means frictional force and uh, electrostatic force Fe are equal. Here, we know that frictional force is equal to mu <coughs> into normal force, that is uh, N equal to mg. So, here mu mg is equal to electrostatic force between both the charges, that is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q. Here, both the charges same, so it can be written as q square, and the distance between both the charges that is L square. Okay. Now substitute all this value. What is the value of mu? Mu is given 0 0.25. What is mass of this charged particle that is 10 gram convert into kilogram that is 10 raise to the power minus 3 and G that is 10. Here value of 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught is uh, 9 into 10 raise to the power 9 and uh, Q is 2 into 10 raise to the power minus 7 whole square upon L square. Okay. Now let us first we have to convert in this uh, question number 25 10 raise to the power minus 3 10 raise to the power 1 2 here 2 and 10 is for again minus 2 equal to 9 into 10 is to power 9 2 square that is 4 10 is to power minus uh, 14 upon L square so 25 into 10 is to power minus 3 minus 2 minus 5 and uh, plus 2 that is minus 3 again okay 9 into 4 into 10 raise to power 9 minus 14 upon L square. Okay, now transposing this term L square equal to 9 fourths of 36, 10 and uh, 9 minus 14 that is uh, minus 5 upon 25 into 10 raise to power minus 3. In L square. 36 by 25 10 raise to the power minus 5 plus 3, then uh, it can be written as 36 by 25 10 raise to the power minus 2, or it can be written as L square 36 upon 25 and uh, 1 by 100. <coughs> now it can be written as L equal to 6 by 5. And uh, 100 is the root that is 10. Convert into centimeter, multiply 
by 100. So we get 60 by 5, that is 12 centimeter. Okay. So here the correct answer is 12 centimeter. I hope so. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. Definitely, when you will become success, whole contribution goes to your hard work. But if my videos, my lectures, my questions will help in your success, I will consider myself lucky. Please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Take care. Bye-bye.